And joining us right now, I am very happy to say, Mary Madeline, Republican political consultant, former advisor to Vice President Dick Cheney, and former campaign director for President George W. Bush. Hello, Mary. It's a good Friday, isn't it? The yeah. Friday before Halloween, we have good news. Well, yes, and of course, you're referring to what I just mentioned, I, I assume, and that is that the FBI and James Comey informing Congress that they are looking into newly discovered emails so that they discovered in an unrelated uh, case. And basically, the Hillary email case has been reopened while they look to see if there's any classified material here. So this, no matter how the media tries to spin it or how the Clinton campaign tries, this isn't coming from Russia. This is not good news from, for Hillary. It's not good news for Hillary, but why I say it's good news is because it shows some semblance of our legal system, the rule of law, still having some semblance of order, which I think was a big concern to people. They might not like Trump, but they know if he's a kook, they know for, if they think he's a kook, they know for sure that she's a crook and she was getting away with it. So if nothing else, this is going to restore some, I hope, some faith that our system is bigger than our politicians. Now, I don't know enough about it yet, uh, but, you know, we know that there were classified emails the first time around. So if any of these emails, we don't know the unrelated case, we don't know what he's talking about specifically, but to say they're going to look at these emails to see uh, if there's anything classified, I don't know what difference that could make, but who the heck knows well, what we're dealing with? I'm not, I, I have just, just enough law background to be dangerous. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because what Comey said in the first go around was that this wasn't a prosecutable case because it lacked intent, which of course the statute only asks for negligence, uh -huh. which he showed, but he said there no prosecutor would find intent. Again, didn't ask for intent. So now they've either found something or they're looking to find if there is any intent. And since that Comey presser and today, we've had every week something's happened. This week, or last, all the weeks are blending together to me, but the department, uh, the State Department official who told Congress he had no idea that, there, that she had a secret server. Then he, the WikiLeaks showed that he said she had a secret server and it was fine. And then he reappeared and, and, and pled the fifth 90 times. 90 times he pled the fifth. So the, the evidence to the contrary, or the, let's say the evidence for intent, okay, keeps mounting ever since the Comey, and if that, uh, Comey presser. And if that was his resistance to prosecuting, then, then that's a prosecutable thing. Yeah. But I don't, I don't know that that can happen before the election, but it certainly does double down, triple down, quadruple down on, what, what, on her biggest negatives while Trump seems to be closing the gap as Republicans come home and, and independents are shifting to him. And I, I've been saying all year since last year, actually, I think he's going to pull it out. Well, that, I'm so, I don't think he's going to pull it out. I think, we, I think America is going to say we're going we're gonna to make Trump take us where we need to go because we know where we need to go. And there, there are many instances in history where the followers have to be the leaders, and this is one of them. And I think Americans are stepping up. I'm so glad you're on today. I'm so glad you said that. You took my next question. I was going to say, Mary, please, you've been through it all. You're going to be blatantly honest with me and with the other people out there who are, like, scared to death of what's going to happen in a week and a half. But, but you just kind of answered the question. So you really do believe that, that we're going to wake up, if not the next day, maybe the day after, but whatever, and, and Donald Trump will win this. And I... I, I know this is anecdotal, but politics is not a science, okay? It's a fingertip. It's a feeling thing. So I'm in, you know, my girls are both in college, so I'm not going to count Louisiana. I'm going to count New York. So all the way driving from Washington to upstate New York, which takes you through Pennsylvania, all through New York, there weren't just Trump signs everywhere. There were people standing out in the cold. It's sort of snow spitting here, holding up Trump pent signs. I mean, there is what you need to bring a race home is enthusiasm. So I think some combination of this inordinate enthusiasm, for which is really 
for to save the country. That's how people feel who are supporting Trump. And the Senate races that, that happen to be in competitive seats that have good turnout operations I think we do it. And everyone thinks I'm crazy for saying this, and it's a 94 percent uh, possible or likely Hillary state. I think he's going to win Pennsylvania. I know he's going to win Florida. And I'm giving him Iowa. I'm giving her New Hampshire, Colorado. But I think he, if he wins Pennsylvania, and he can win Pennsylvania, then that's it. And the reason I'm saying this, uh, the aforementioned, and that we're just people, This is, I've never seen anything like this, where people who are either for him or rapidly against her, and I say this by dealing with all these local people that I am up here, don't want to talk about it because – the voices against him or for her are so rabid. They're they're yeah, they're sick of fighting or they're scared. So we don't. I really am. I really do think there's purchase in the notion that was attendant to Brexit that there are undetected. There's undetected voters here, unpollable voters. I hear. I had the uh, you know, the pleasure of doing a, a show on WMAL in D.C. Uh, last Saturday, and I heard from several truck drivers who called up and said the same thing you did. Uh, and, and one in particular who drove all through Pennsylvania said, you know, four years ago, all he saw were Obama, Obama, Obama signs, and now all he sees in the same places are Trump signs. Correct. It's amazing. Correct. Yeah. In places where they shouldn't be. So... We'll see. We shall. We shall see. I, I, boy, do I. Boy, do I hope you're right. Uh, and finally, um, what about the Senate? What's your, what's your feeling on the Senate? I feel. I I feel okay about it. I I think Burr can bring it home. That was a kind of had to worry about. And I'm hoping Kelly, I I and uh, New Hampshire can bring it home. And I think the other ones are. I think Toomey, that's another reason I think Pennsylvania. Toomey's been up consistently. I mean, he was the number one target. It, so if, Toom, if Toomey's okay in Pennsylvania, I think we're going to be okay. And if he wins, of course, we need one less seat to. Right, right, to, right. Uh, you get the VP, so, yeah. Uh, and I'm cool with the House, too. So I well, actually think it's going to be very good. But then. We gotta deliver, and we gotta deliver that we by we I mean. Oh yeah. The Republican Party has to. Oh yeah. Like finally take what this what the, this is not a mandate for a person a cult personality. This is a mandate for pay attention to us, cut the crap, balance the budgets, or at least get into regulatory reform. If he does that, every I think everything else. Yep. Can, can, I, can, I, can I take the liberty? You said mandate, and every time I hear that word, I think of your husband and a joke he told. It might have been on Meet the Press many years ago, and if I may, um, he said, uh, the only person I know who has a mandate is Jim, Jim McGreevy. <laughs> oh, it, was so, so it was so and funny. So I'll, I'll, I'll never forget that. It just stuck in my <laughs> head. Uh, say hello to your husband, and Mary, thank you so very much. A happy Halloween, and nobody wear a scary clown face. <laughs> okay, yeah, that means no, and no Hillary faces either. Up next, ladies and gentlemen. Bye. Bye. Love you, <laughs> you, you too. Son of President Ronald Reagan, Michael Reagan, joins us more to, next to talk more about the campaign, so keep it right here.